All right, what up, you guys? This is Top PC Guides. Um, Big Red here, here to explain what port forwarding is and what it's basically for. Port forwarding is for basically um, opening ports that you need for certain. Uh, let's say what I got on here is like Steam and Xbox. My for my Xbox, um, certain ports need to be open if you want a open NAT or certain stuff to work um, so port forwarding permits com communications from external hosts by forwarding them to a particular port so that's basically what port forwarding um, does and that's how it works now that one's kind of the easy one. All you basically do is if you got, I got obviously you can see Xfinity. Um, I got so if you got the same router, it doesn't really have to be the same router. Most are the same for port forwarding. Um, just kind of click you know enable add service. Um, it'll have you name the service. It doesn't matter really what you name for it have to make sure what type it needs to be because if you don't if you get that wrong um it could react in a different way um the right ports uh these are different but they can be the same if you don't want them to be have a gap between so just put the same port if you want it to be the same then put the ip of that device on here um so yeah that one's the easy one now I'm gonna get to the harder one, which um I know most people probably don't have unless you have Xfinity and have like their latest router. I got their latest one. It's like a router and a modem together, which kind of I don't like. I think it downs the strength of the signal and everything else. But um here's port triggering. That's what it's called, and most people probably haven't heard about that one. It's kind of more difficult. I don't use it because port is about the almost the same as port forwarding, but there is a difference. Uh, port triggering monitors outbound traffic on your network. When traffic is detected on a particular outbound port, the gateway remembers that computer's IP triggers the outbound port to accept the incoming traffic and directs the communications to the same computer. So, to put that in simpler terms, um, what that port forwarding does is doing the same thing at port, I mean, port triggering, sorry you guys, um, port triggering is doing the same thing that port forwarding does except it remembers that computer's IP. So, port forwarding keeps that port open 24-7 for that certain IP. Port triggering only triggers that port when it detects it on your network when it needs it so it won't always be open and it won't uh, have any security flaws because a certain port being open 24 7 could be a security flaw it depends on what port it is though so um, it's a good thing about port triggering but I don't use it much because I don't really need it I just need all my shit to be open 24 7 because that's basically what I do is play video games um, so yeah it'll remember that IPs uh, that your computer's IP and it'll detect that IP when it need I mean that detect that port when it needs it and it'll send it to that specific IP now um, it's the same concept basically you enable add service add port trigger and add in all the same stuff um except yeah these are basically uh what triggers it and this is the target basically and the target is I, your ip so it, it it called it a target because it specifically targets that only that ip will not it will not open it up for anybody else um so yeah that's it for today you guys um thanks for watching and see you next time